Hello guys, me Carlos Santos, aka Happy Carlos 957, and welcome to another edition of NASCAR Heat 5. So, as the title says, I had a disastrous West Coast swing of, you know, three of them Las Vegas, Auto Club, and Phoenix. So, as you would have told, two of those finishes were outside the top 20, which is this. Not to our, you know, high standards, you know, our expectations, so. 21st Las Vegas, and for Auto Club, I already gave you a spoiler alert, but it's outside the top 20, so. Not much to see here, so. So here's my qualifying lap. One lap around Auto Club, and as you can tell by the shaking of the car, I mean, it was, the, the suspension is just so nervous, you know, in the corners that I couldn't get the straight line speed I needed, so, yeah, let's just see where it ends up, otherwise, so, uh, as I head to turn screen 4, hope I can keep it wide open, and yeah, but not even near the wall, so I don't risk spinning out, so. 42.229, that'll only give me 35th fastest, so. Yeah, looks like we're gonna have to battle our way to the front from here, so. Anybody in the back? Yeah, one driver that qualified ahead of me, anyway. Go to the back, so that's who that who's that driver, so so you know Ryan Newman is fast and I know he's the pole center, so fun fact, did you know he never had a pulse while driving the six and the thirty one cars? To be honest. Never even imagined. He was always the rocket man, but but in virtual racing, they just give him poles for some reason. Like he's like Mark Martin or something. So. And then the driver that got sent to the back, I believe, was John Hunter Nemechek. So I might be wrong. So. Because I wasn't looking. So. so the green flag is out, and we're here at Auto Club Speedway. <laughs> Let's see. Side by side with Tyler Reddick, and we barrel our way to turn number one. And let's see, drift up the racetrack big time. And as you can tell, I just want to get out of the hornet's nest and just hang around in the back. There's Timmy Hill in my left. And I am smart enough to let him go. Yep, that's John Hunter Nemechek for sure. Hmm. Not much to say, it's just right around the back, as most back markers do. Just gather as many points as you can and just learn from your mistakes, you know, as far as what line you should run or when you should let the leaders go and so forth. I mean, there's only like three stages. They're 25% race length, and yeah, I put it at two times tire and fuel consumption length. So yeah, I don't expect any live green flag pit stops to be exact. So. Every time there's a yellow, we just head on to pit road. That's probably about it, so. It takes away the strategy, but I don't, I don't mind it, so. So, let's see. Since I'm hanging here in the back for like most of the race, I will fast forward to somewhere in the middle or 
And then I saw. Catch you guys in a little bit.
and we resume to the last restart of the race. So, I'm just here in 30th place, to be that. And there's like four laps to go. Not much uh, going on. No drama, no nothing. Just get fresh tires, drive all the way to the front, and then see how I roll the dice, to be exact. So, yeah. I don't usually like to spin on purpose, just like Clint Boyer did at Richmond of 2013. So. Not what I would do as a professional driver because you might lose your sponsors doing that. So, just like Martin Trey Jr., Papa, you know, and Clint Boyer, five hour, five hour energy drink. So, uh, they just lost their sponsors just because uh, them wanted to manipulate the outcome of the race. And that's un unacceptable in these days of this racing atmosphere. So, so I'm already up to 33rd already, and Quinn Huff pa passed me for 32nd. Let's see. And I burrow my way down into turn 3, past Joey Gase for 31st. And then I'll try to get Tyler Reddit for 30th. So. Let's see if I can uh, sniff a draft. And I will. And my goal objective is, I believe, 20th. So, yeah. Let me move the screen so I can see. Yep, 20th it is. And there's John Hunter and Evercheck going side by side with myself for 29th place. See how the cars like spread out at all the club? I mean, I mean it's fun that way, but they want tight racing, you know. 40 cars in a pack, you know. But in places like Auto Club in Michigan, you'll only see a little bit, like for five to ten laps, and then once the tires wear, you'll see a lot of the maneuvering of the cars like be reduced and. You have to play the waiting game and make the car come to you. So there's there'll be comers and goers. I'm telling you, that's all I can say. So I pass Timmy Hill for 26, and I pass some other guy for 25th. So some yellow car, <laughs> and I'm gonna get 25th as my finishing position at the Auto Club 400 speed rating of 96 that's terrible yeah yep past Clint Boy for 20 so Ryan Newman dominated the race and he hmm I'd say he led out all the laps so and I'm 15th in the points, which is terrible because I know it's Richard Penny Motorsports and they're a four star team and they expect good results, but it is what it's expected. Kevin Harvick gets the fastest lap. Ryan Newman led the most with 23. Eric Almarella gained the most spots from his 25th starting spot. And William Byron. Just had a tough break from his fourth starting spot and fell backwards. So let's see. Am I gonna get any rivals from this race? Waiting, waiting. I give him a positive for Tyler Reddick. Yeah. He's skimpy about it, but give him a bad comment. And Joey Case, <laughs> I provoke him. I provoke the fear drivers. I provoke Tyler Reddick, Justin Haley, Joey Case. One of the Xbox achievements is to get at least three rivals. Uh, I just 
randomly chose three rivals and went from there. So, so I'm hope you guys watch my next race, which is Phoenix. So let's move on to Phoenix. And we're back, so I'll be doing my Phoenix qualifying already, so one more thing. I am having some dinner tonight and I kind of smell my uh, steak already, so you smell food coming into your mouth? <laughs> I mean, it's, it's around 5 o'clock, so... Sizzle up your uh, grill and cook some steak while you watch my videos. So, so really, so let's go back to the chase. So here's my qualifying run. Really solid at Phoenix, one of my uh, favorite tracks to go to, and hopefully I can get a solid run out of it. And yeah, let's see, 27.191, enough for 25th place, not bad. Regarding what the car will give me during the race, so, uh, about the steak, I like mine's medium well, so, <laughs> let's just cook up some barbecue and enjoy the race, so. Story of the race. Ty Dillon is slow today. Chris Busser, he is not himself. <laughs> Meaning he's going to be slow also. And the pole center today is Martin Drax Jr. So he's one of the drivers that you'll see in the final four. Once the regular season's over. And him, Kyle Busch. Denny Hamlin, the Joe Gibbs teammates, you'll see them battle for them championships, I'm telling you. So, and the green flag is out from Phoenix International Raceway for the Fan Shield 500. So, as I barrel myself into the horn one in the old turn three of Phoenix, yeah, I can't even swallow my words trying to say, oh, it's the old Phoenix in with the new. <laughs> yeah. They had to do a renovation because, you know, they want to make the dog leg of the front straightaway look quite interesting. More like Richmond, don't you think? And it's supposed to behave like Richmond in some ways, which is my home track, so. And I'm still in 25th. Behind Quinn Health. And I kind of feel the shivers this summer <laughs> doing all these uh, YouTube videos. Like, I'm an Asker YouTuber, but a much smaller market. And it's, you know, in TSC Forge from Los Angeles, so uh, he gets all the fame from his uh, NBA, NFL buddies out there, so, yeah, he's been to a lot of stadiums, you know, over in the Los Angeles area, so, whew, Austin Dillon passed me for 26th, or 25th, which I didn't see, so, 
Okay. I guess that is. Hmm. I'm trying to get past Quinn now. <laughs> but at the same time, I'm looking at Ryan Priest, I believe, so. So, I'll just fast forward this to the end of the race because I gotta really catch up to, for dinner, so. The kids are waiting, me, waiting for me downstairs, so. I'll see you in the, on the other side of the horizon, so. As you might have saw in most of my videos for the Phoenix race so far, I was struggling big time. Dog me way too tight in the corners, but hey. I did change some tires later in the race and was able to like clobber my way up there and you know here I restart eleventh on the final restart. And it's two to go, and man, I took a big risk under Brett because last guy over there. So here's the final lap. In sixth spot, I have the Joe Gibbs teammates ahead of me of Rowdy and Danny Hamlin. So ooh, I got a little bit loose over there. Past 
Kyle Boos and Danny Hamlin. Next victim is William Byron. And then Kevin Harvick. Am I gonna get him for? Oh man, I'm gonna lose third spot. And that's where I'm gonna finish. So, Matt Kenseth if you're a winner. And you'll be in the playoffs. So, speed rating of 96 overall. So, and here is. The race results. So I kind of want to give you the full race highlights from Phoenix, but you you see them in the background, so no need to show you any right now. Oh, look at my race car! I get into traffic and get hit on the left side door, which is the driver's door. So. Where does this third place run climb me up through the standings? 13th, not bad. Hm. It's quite interesting right now, so. Oh, I hear my kids wanted to come up, come downstairs for dinner, so. I'll catch you guys later. See you later. So we're coming to the end of my YouTube video right now, so click on that bell button if you want to subscribe for more content. Get the thumbs up button if you like the video so much. And if you found my recent video interesting, share a comment down below the description so you can comment with others and give them feedback of how you felt about it. So. I'm AK, happy Corona 957. Y'all have a great day and peace out.